All right, so let me share my screen again. All right, tell me if you can see my screen again. Yes, I can see it. Awesome. Okay, so again, on the home screen here um, is a link to the glossary. So basically, um, this glossary is put together um, by uh, Dean Pula, who is the Cairo language instructor at, uh, at University of Oklahoma. And um, he's also a part of the Cairo language credentialing board. Um, so he updates it. He tries to update it every year. And then um, there's basically it's a bunch of um, compilations from all of these contributors, many of our elder mentors. And so the glossary is really handy. You can see it's 929 pages long. I'm going to scroll down to like, so this, this explains how to read the glossary. So it'll tell you the types of nouns and also tell you the types of verbs uh, for each of the words in the glossary. And and then it just goes basically alphabetical through the Kiowa alphabet. Um, and so one of my favorite glossary is to, is to kind of use the search function. So like, I don't know, let's say we were looking for the word like respect. Um, whoops, I can spell. And it takes a minute to search it. It's probably faster if you download it to your computer as a PDF file and then search it that way. But this is one of the um, really helpful um, helpful ways to use the glossary is to just search in the PDF document um, for whatever word in English that you're trying to find. And if there's a Kiowa, like something that's in Kiowa, then it'll populate it. Um, so right here we have, um, I think this is probably the closest word to the closest word to respect that we have. Um, so, and that's a kiaiba, kiaiba ba. Is that right, ha, so ha, grandma? She might have stepped away. Um, okay, so you just basically can go through. So like, I don't know, um, any word. Um, if there's a Kiowa equivalent, I mean, this glossary isn't exhaustive, but it's very comprehensive and it's very useful, especially for us learners, especially when we're, when we're trying to figure out how to translate a sentence from English to Kiowa, or if we have a Kiowa sentence that we're translating trying to translate into English, um, this this will uh, be very helpful. Um, it does use the modified Parker McKenzie orthography, and there's a phonetic uh, version um, for each word in the glossary. So that kind of helps too. Um, hi, Kathy. So. On day, on day, both. Aw. On day, on day, phone. We're just looking at some of the resources available to learners. Um, so that's the glossary. So I'd highly recommend bookmarking it, downloading it. Um, and then this other resource, like I mentioned earlier, is the uh, University of Oklahoma Kiowa Language Course Packet, or it's an old version of it. Um, it's what um, they used to use at OU back 
it's been a while, 2018, 2017. Uh, but it's it's really handy because if I want to pick it up. Hi, Miss Velma. Hi. I just uh, owe you, but I don't know about um, computers. I'm just going over some of our resources that we have available to learners. So I'm sharing my screen and just kind of talking through some of the resources. We have uh, one of our new uh, teacher candidates on the line with us today. So just kind of going over some resources. Okay, so... Uh, in the course packet, some of the most useful things that I like to print off and then I encourage, because um, I teach Kiowa at Weatherford High School, um, and so I encourage them to use these resources also. This uh, pronoun chart is really, really helpful, and it's uh, pages three. Um, it's a three page from three to five. It's probably one of the most useful things ever uh, because uh as you may know, with our language, um, our language is action oriented. So we have more verbs than we have nouns in Kiowa, whereas in English, there's more nouns than there are verbs. So with our language, it's very action oriented. And so in order to say a verb, we have to have a pronoun with it. And every verb has, every verb type has its own type of pronoun. Um, and kind of the logic is, you know, an action doesn't just happen by itself in a vacuum. There's an action and somebody has to be doing the action. And so um, these pronoun charts are super, super helpful. And it's also uh, one of the items as part of the Kiowa language credentialing. And so that's one of the first resources I always recommend is even though you may not, they look really confusing right now, print them off and then um, as we go along and as you go through the year and learn, um, you'll see how, how they can be used and they're pretty useful. So what I like doing is if I'm looking for a word or like translating a sentence, I will look up the word in the Kiowa glossary that we just looked at. And then I'll look at the pronoun chart to find the corresponding pronoun according to the verb type. And then that's how I create sentences. And then I check the sentences with our one of our elder mentors to make sure that I'm not speaking crazy and that it makes somewhat sense. Um, and then they help uh, figure out whether or not it makes sense. Um, so this course packet, um, it goes through kind of some of the pronunciation, the alphabet, um, the help phrases, help phrases are the first thing to study. And then see, there's these like little worksheets in the course packet. And these are kind of handy, like I said, if you wanted to print off some of them and then like start using it as a workbook. Um, when I was first learning, I printed off the whole course packet. It's like 300 pages. I printed it off and then I put it in a binder. And then every day I would go in and complete one of these little worksheets. It's um, separated into lessons. So I'm just gonna scroll down. So a typical lesson in this course packet is a bunch of resources, as you can see. So here's the first lesson, um, and it starts off with the target language that um, that lesson focuses on. And then it does the breakdown of the vocabulary and grammar. And then there's the translations from Kiowa to English. And then one of the things that we do is um, when we're first learning, it really helps to understand the word order in Kiowa. And basically it helps us um, understand how our Kiowa language is different from English. Uh, so we use what we call literal translation and then we have a free translation, which is kind of like the somewhat equivalent in English. Um, so that's what this chart is set up to be. And then the course pack is really neat because it has like common mistakes, which are really helpful um, to read through and then just to kind of understand a little bit more about the language. I'll scroll to that. And then here's the little worksheets. So there's like a worksheet where you can practice with the Kiowa and then write the English um, translation under each of the phrases and the words. 
And then these oral quiz practices um, are basically a way to quiz ourselves as learners on whether or not we can say the Kiowa correctly. So this will have the English um, literal translation, and then we have to say the Kiowa version. Um, and these actually come in real handy um, for us, as you'll see when we look at the adult learning resources because um, we've built these out and these conversations, if we if you practice all of the 10 lessons um, that are on the adult learning um, page, uh, they'll help you get through the uh, level one Iowa language credentialing conversation um, when you get to do the in-person credentialing with our credentialing board. So that's really helpful. And then there's always note cards, which is kind of neat. Um, and then there's all these little worksheets. So for people that like writing things down, you can print these off and fill out, you know, fill in the blanks and just kind of do these little worksheets to just help uh, remember and retain the information. Um, here's sentence practices um, to practice identifying um, pronouns and verbs and then also translating into Kiowa. And then you have the second lesson. So this is a really handy resource, especially if, if you're someone that kind of likes to have like a booklet to learn from. I'm gonna go back to the homepage. Um, so now let, we're gonna look at the adult learning um, portion. So the adult learning portion um, is set up. So the there's these three tabs here, learning Kiowa as an adult about indigenous second language acquisition and Kiowa as a second language. So you can click on those and read through them as you see fit if that's a topic that's interest of interest to you. Um, and then we have the Kiowa teaching and learning goals and objectives. So these are for adult learners. And this is uh, basically a suggested learning progression of the topics of Kiowa language, like the order in which um, it's recommended by our mentors. Um, to practice and to learn Kiowa. So if you're wondering like, where do I start? This is a really good handy tool to look at. All right, so first I'm gonna focus on sounds of Kiowa, then I'm gonna learn the Kiowa help phrases and so on. And so just kind of go down the list. And then um, this talks about um, how do you know, how do you assess yourself? How do you identify whether you're retaining the information? There's some resources here. Um, and then, so if this is also something that you could um, download and print off if you wanted to. Um, and there's a lot of cans to give you um, an indication of what you want to guess. Go ahead. Um, Okay, um, let's see. So we have a couple of our new uh, teacher candidates on here. So we're just looking at resources that are available to Kiowa language learners. Um, so if we're following that learning progression, um, we want to start with the sounds of Kiowa. And so let's see here. So over here on the um, left hand side of the screen, there's this list of lessons. It goes all the way up to lesson nine. Um, I've added uh, lessons like every couple weeks. Um, so there's a lot of resources available. So let's say you want to um, use and learn Kiowa help phrases. So you can access um, a, a web page specifically um, on the Kiowa help phrases if you want to see the lesson in total. And so you would click on that. And here's the page. And here's the resources. So there's videos that go over the pronunciation um, of each of the help phrases. So if you wanted to watch those, you can also download the PowerPoint file and the PDF file. Um, the PowerPoint is really helpful uh, because the PowerPoint file actually has the little recordings in there. So you can hear a Kiowa speaker pronounce um, each of the phrases. So that's helpful. And then there's um, a handout um, if you want to see all of them 
in a one place in a list. Um, so those are the resources. And then there's two sessions, or actually there's three sessions here, where you can um, get this, the sounds and kind of um, talk about or hear um, learners practice. And you can practice along with the videos as well um, for the help phrases. So if we go back, so that's kind of the best place to get started is to start with the help phrases. And then you just go down the list. So here is lesson one, and I'll click on that. Okay, so here is lesson one, and this is um, the second portion of the uh, suggested Kiowa language learning progression. So this is on greetings. And for most of these lessons, there's also a, we use a studystaff.com as another resource for learning Kiowa. And so if you click on the links here, there's actually some really cool resources and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, so this is lesson one. And again, it's the same format. There are a, a couple videos where you can practice along with learners and hear our mentors um, and fluent speakers uh, say the phrases in the lesson. And then if you want to follow along, you can download the lesson file. Um, and so you'll notice some of the language looks really familiar because it is modeled after the OU course packet. It's just the language has been updated to reflect the target phrases that the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board um, wants us learners to have mastered um, when we go and do our credentialing um, interviews with the language board. So um, there's a resource there. And um, just like for, for me, um, I'm credentialed. I'm working on my level two right now. I'm credentialed at, lev at um, level one. But I actually need a handout for my high school language classes. And it's what we use as part of our conversational practice with my high schoolers. So they're very handy. Um, and, um, you know, you can always download it and print it off if you want to. Um, so that is lesson one. Let me go back. Okay, so I was mentioning the... Um, oops. Hopefully this. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Oh, I was going to talk about this other resource. Oops. Where did it go? Oh, yeah, study stack. Sorry, I have to pull up the link. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, we'll take a look at the StudyStacks resource. Um, so this is, if you go to studystack.com, um, they have like a bunch of resources for like everything. But if you type in D Hula or Dane Hula and then click search, it's going to pull up all of the Kiowa language and Kiowa credentialing resources that Dane has published on StudyStacks. Um, so,
Okay. Um, so let's say uh, you wanted to, so I think the one that we were looking at with gradings. Um, so you can go here and um, you would look for the gradings, uh, which is Taiwan Conversations. Here's one on help phrases. It talks through how to um, how to respond to the help phrases. Oh, so, yeah, a cool little resource. Um, and there's lots and lots of Kiowa language topics available. So that's how that works. Let me stop sharing. All right, any questions that you have? All right, any questions? All right, so what I thought we could do, we have a couple of our new teacher candidates with us today. So um, it'd be awesome if we could do some introductions. Um, with our, our starting with our mentors and then we can have our candidates take turns saying hello in our learners. So does that sound okay with everyone? Huh. Yes. All right, awesome. Um let's start. Um let's start with uh Grandma D to be able to introduce yourself for our new candidate. Okay. Uh, I'm Dolores Toibo Herge and Pio Gemma Goiko. And I live in Carnegie. And right now I'm in Norman, but I grew up and was born and live in the same place I was born. So in Carnegie. And I'm Four Force Kiowa, and I'm 95 years old. Oh, well. Oh, uh -huh. And Grandma D is also on our Kiowa Language Credentialing Board, so no pressure. <laughs> um, let's go over to Miss Velma. Hi, my name is Velma Eisenberger, uh, Velma Dumbo Eisenberger, and uh, I was uh, I was uh, born and raised in Stecker, Oklahoma, and um, I live in uh, I live in Moore with an Oklahoma City address. <laughs> so uh, uh, I just turned eighty three on last friday so 
I'm still I'm still behind in the Lord same okay <laughs> but um, I'm also on the credentialing board and uh that's it yay happy birthday Obama thank you I hope I ate too much I ate Mexican food Ooh, that's good. <laughs> like it, we all went out to eat Mexican food so I'm going to be down there this weekend at Ohomo. Oh, oh. They're oh, raising my, might, see you. might see you. Okay, I'll be there. Uh, well, I got to be there Friday morning at 7 to raise them, uh, Dad Frank's flag. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Over in Stockton. Yeah. Okay. Are you bringing oh. the baby? Are you bringing the baby? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, I have to. I mean, I can't leave her behind. <laughs> I yeah, I have to uh, bring her. Welcome, welcome to the new, uh, the new candidate. Oh, Obaha. Oh, oh, awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, Kathy, do you want to introduce yourself? And then we'll go to Aunt Carolyn. Huh. Uh, my name is Kathy Dickerson. I'll call her Tapo Ma Goy Uh Let's see. Fort Cobb and Carnegie. Was that St. Louis Gat Aguil? Uh, or no, St. Louis. Uh, yeah, yeah, Akia. That's I was raised in St. Louis, but uh, let's see, Bacon College, Agua. Uh, let's see, Hongua Ga, Saint Soy De A Ga, someone there, Tonka Me Ga, Teco Me Ga, Obaha. Oh. Uh -huh. And Carolyn, would you like to introduce yourself? Carolyn Pauley, I'll call. I live in Norman. Um, I was raised by my Kiowa grandparents, Virginia and Louis Toybo. In Carnegie, on my grandmother's allotment. My mother is Dolores Toibo Harrigera. And uh, right now she's staying with me at my house in Norman. And she's my nurse. <laughs> nurse Ratchet. <laughs> Dang, our <laughs> dress. That's cute. Oh, <laughs> oh, Hey, we have Grandma Dorothy joining us. Yay. Hi, Hi Grandma Dorothy. We, uh, Melody, we just... Melody, she'll be on here in just a second. She's getting oh, okay. her. Okay. Can you, uh, I'm going to you... mute her. Okay. Okay, awesome. Um, so I'll introduce myself. Um, Melody Redbird Post, uh, huh? Go for your dog, you might avoid, huh? Uh, California, yeah, a key, uh, Clinton, yeah, a key. Um, let's see. Uh, hey, God, they go, Neda, uh, White Fox, uh, Redbird, um, and let's see, uh, University of Oklahoma, Agutba. And yeah, I'm working on uh, becoming credentialed for level two, um, credentialed for level one. And yeah, just excited to spend every week with our our mentors here. And every, every time we talk, we learn something new. So super exciting. And it's good to see our new teacher candidates. So welcome. We're very glad you're here and excited to 
continue on this Kiowa language learning journey with each of you. So uh, when Grandma Dorothy gets online, we'll um, go ahead and let her introduce herself also. Um, so basically that means we have three mentors available on our session tonight. Um, and our mentors are our greatest resources. <laughs> so uh, we really appreciate each of our mentors taking the time to spend time with us and um, teach us, you know, just making sure we're pronouncing things correctly and we're understanding things. So it's awesome that we have them available here. Uh, let's see here. So I think those are, um, we're just waiting for Grandma Dorothy so she can say hello. Um, so I wanted to see if, um, Angie, would you like to say hello to um, our mentors and just share a little bit uh, so they can get to know you? Hello, my name is Angeline Kumsa witzlein I come from Henrietta Saperhoodle and Bill Kumsa Sr. I am named after Angeline Kumsa. My grandparents are Mary Ramirez, Lois Tartza, and Willie Tartza. My parents are Brandy Bonderas and Pedro Bonderas. Um, I attended Anadarko, I graduated in 2023, and I'm currently attending college at Carbert State College in Port Oklahoma. I am studying biology and pre-professional science to hopefully be a obstetrician gynecologist. Thank you. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hello. I grew up in Anadarko, and now I live in Flint. I go to school at Weatherford Middle School, and my family is Stephen Post and L.P. Redford Post, um, Oklahoma. Oh, I hope. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nanette, is uh, Grandma Dorothy available? They're probably still getting situated, so I'll just keep an eye out so we can let Grandma introduce herself as well. Um, so just based on our little um, introductions and kind of the little the resources. Um, Angie and Merlina, I wanted to see if you have any questions um, for us just about anything, like uh, how to get started, uh, any questions about any of the resources you saw, whether or not you can access the website. I uh, just want to check in on all that. Oh, I don't have any questions. Oh. Um, so I know in the evaluation, we have to be evaluated by the elders. How is that weekly or, and, or will these be the elders who will evaluate us? question. Um, I'm going to ask our mentors if, so um, 
I'm trying to remember. So it's been a couple of years since we've done, we've had a cohort of new candidates. So we're super excited. Um, but let me ask uh, Grandma D, Grandma Dorothy, or Miss Velma, any one of you can answer. Do you remember when you did the uh, mentor evaluations of us as candidates? Did you do them monthly or weekly? Like, I don't remember if it was after every session or if you had to just turn them in once a month um, or if it was a different time frame. So do any of you remember? We had to, uh, we had to um, send in our, our forms uh, to the office monthly. But we, well, I mean, this is what I did. I, uh, the, the, I'm I'm representing Dolores. Eh? <laughs> I was her I was her assistant, <laughs> her alternate. But uh, like um, weekly, we did these little evaluations. There's like four, let's say four weeks in the month. We had like four sheets, so we um, we uh, did our uh, evaluations over the Zoom. We did our um, like I said. Uh, once a week, we, we evaluate each each one of the candidates, and then we put those together, and I did like an overall evaluation that we sent into the, the program. So that's how Dolores and I did ours. And um, are we going to have to, are we going to do that for this this group? Do you know? If we are, we probably need our, our forms. I don't know. I'm not sure how they're doing this. They haven't really told us anything, you know, or given us direction or anything. So I'm not sure. We'll probably have to talk to um, the director and find out what what role we play in this in this group. So, but this is what we did with the KL. Our our last our last our our our, our grant. Is that right, Dorothy? Dolores, I mean. Oh. Oh, I appreciate that, Ms. Velma. Um, so from what I gather, it sounds like there will be, uh, the mentors will be doing some type of evaluation for the learners, for the new candidates. Um, and I'm sure that uh, Ms. Wright, uh, the Kiowa Language Department Director, I'm sure she'll be reaching out to each of you to kind of go over the expectations. Um, but, uh, and I'm sure that she'll get you, I think previously you had, each of you had received like a, a packet or like a file of all your paperwork that you needed. So I'm sure they'll be reaching out and making arrangements for all of that for this new cohort. Um, um, excuse me. I, yeah. I missed. The, I don't know if it's my computer or or what, but it keeps going in and out. So, can you repeat what you said? I'm sorry. It's probably me. My internet connection is slow. <laughs> um, hopefully, you can hear it, me now. It did. It did the same thing. It said. It says this meeting is being recorded. It keeps doing that. Oh, so okay. I'm kind of missing out on something. Well. I still hear you, so you're still with us. <laughs> okay, okay, but I just needed you to repeat the last part of what you were telling the candidates or telling us. Oh, no worries. Um, okay, so uh, basically, uh, Melody, yeah. you want to tell uh, Aunt Velma? You might want to uh, okay that if it's telling you over and over if it's uh, recording, there's a yes button down below there, or a okay or something. Oh, I did press that. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Um, yeah, no worries. So uh, for our mentors, our elder mentors, I, from what I understand, I don't know for sure, but from what I understand is that um, Miss uh, Chelsea Wright, the Kiowa Language Department Director, will be reaching out to each of you to um, go over expectations for those of you who um, have signed up to be mentors for this new cohort of, of Kiowa language teacher candidates. And I know previously when we did this, like, you know, two years ago, um, you each had like a, a packet or a file of paperwork with all your forms that you could fill out for each of your um, 
candidates that were assigned to you. So I'm sure the language department will be providing you with all of the paperwork that you would need. And if you haven't heard from them yet, I'm sure they'll be reaching out to you soon um, because I know right now they're just getting started and just kicking off this um, launching the new uh, cohort of teacher candidates for this year. Um, under And this is under, I think, the new grant that they got with the U.S. Department of Education, the Bureau of Indian Education, the BIE grant for Kiowa Language Teacher Champions. Um, I believe that's what this, uh, this is going to be funded under. So um, I'm sure I'm sure you could also call the Kiowa Language Department and ask of this, right? Um, but uh, I know that she wanted um, me to make sure that the new candidates were included in our Wednesday sessions so they can start getting their hours in because they'll have to start like, you know, turning, tracking their hours and things like that. So um, kind of like last time, it's, it's a very similar approach to what we did with KLCRP. Um, Hopefully it means less paperwork, <laughs> but we'll we'll see. Uh, so that's what I know so far. And I don't know if that's any help at all, but hopefully that makes sense. Yes, thank you. Oh, and we also have Miss Marion, Marion Polity Hansen, um, who joins us. She is one of our elder mentors as well. <laughs> You just went. Oh, you like to say hello and interview. This is uh, Marion Colty Hanson. And still, still, I call. And uh, Courtney, my, I know. And. Uh, that's been it for today with my Oh, uh -oh. We appreciate it. We appreciate your time, Miss Marion. All right. Um, let's see here. So Angie, hopefully that answered your question. Um, the mentors will be evaluating you, I think. Um I the language will make the assignments of which teacher candidate will be paired with which um, elder mentor. Um, so I'm sure you'll hear more details in the next couple of weeks. Um, but in the meantime, you can join these sessions and start, you know, counting your hours and, uh, you know, gathering the resources. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Awesome. And then I see, uh, let's see, Grandma Dorothy, I see you're off mute. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself to our, our new teacher community? Well, don't say hello too fast. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. We were just doing, um, we're Hi. <laughs> welcoming um, um to us, we have a, some new cohort member members, and so we were having all of our mentors say hello and introduce themselves and share a little bit about about themselves. I don't know if you heard, um, Miss uh, Angie Wetzeline, if you heard her a little bit ago, um, but would you like to introduce yourself to our new? Okay. I'm Dorothy Whitehorse. I was uh, born at Hall Creek, Oklahoma. I'm 90 years old this year. I speak Kiowa. Hawk Creek. I a kigul dori kia. Nyakoi to zanma. Nyakoi to hai geta. Goi to unge ya unge. Honan ya tainto ama. Ego haya batunya rigahan haya to akuri. O honan 
Hana al Pito. But hate that oh, until the great Lord tells me when it's time to quit. I know I'm right. I talk it good. I'm fluent. My my memory is good. And I don't want anybody to publicly dispute me anymore. As the lady I'm asking. If you got something to correct me on, just send me a note. If you got something to ask me on, send me a note. I'll gladly assist you. I do it with a lot of love because I love my language. I love my people. I love how I grew up. I grew up with two parents, full blood Kiowa. I'm a full blood. My grandkids can't get on the road. And I'm going to keep trying. That's when I'm going to quit trying when I can get my mine on. Because there's too many people that are not full Kiowa that are on the on the road. Not fair. We've just got to vote to do that. And that's where I I'm always I always have something, but it's for the good of our tribe. Right now I'm hearing about the Ohomos. I was so anxious because my young ones are members, two of them. And it's this weekend, I did not know the tribe gave so much money to each organization for their, why don't people chip in and pay for their own doings? Nobody has benefits over here, Black Leggings or Ohoma. I thought they were self-supporting. And now I find out they're getting money from the tribe and I'm just livid. Because dad and my the rest never asked for it. They never would have got it anyway. So there's two ways to look at it, but some of these guys are busting their their backs preparing. And I find out they get a lot of money. It's a bunch of foolishness. And that's my gripe today, don't you? Thank you, Melody. I just wanted some minds to hear it. They'll know what I'm talking about. We all feel it, but we don't we don't say what we think. I went out and sold shawls all my life to raise my children. My husband died back when I was 50 years old. Wait at tables, worked at Riverside, was his grandma, told stories. They didn't have to ask anybody. He even worked at the Hall of Fame and all over. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I like my Indian ways. I grew up calm, not like some of y'all. I won't go by the I'm just a call on my. I'm through, Melody. Oh, I uh hope, -huh, Grandma. You we will. Appreciate, appreciate you being here, joining us. I was glad I came and. Oh, God. Chaos again. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a peacemaker anymore or nothing. We've got people for that, I thought. I thought we had keepers. Oh. Awesome. Um, so what we were doing tonight was just kind of going over some of our uh, Kiowa language resources to get our new candidates started with uh, Kiowa language learning um, and kind of going over some of the things um, available to them um, so that they can get started on things. Um, let's see here. Uh, as far as... Um, well, I wanted to first open it up and see. I think we've had everyone introduce themselves. Um, and I think we can. Oh, hey, there's Carlo. 
Hmm. All right, awesome. Um, so I can share my screen again and we can go through some of the resources available. Um, but really these sessions are intended to uh, be sessions for our uh, Kiowa language learners to uh, get support from each other and also to get feedback from our mentors and uh, for us as learners to be able to ask questions of our elder mentors um, so that they can um, provide us with guidance and feedback as we learn. So um, I'll pull up my, the website again. Um, I see we had uh, someone else joining us. Uh, Carlo, welcome. Uh, we are just uh, doing, we just did some introductions um, so that we can all kind of get to know each other. We have uh, three of, four of our elder mentors on here. Um, we have uh, Miss Dolores Harrigera, Miss Dorothy Whitehorse Delon, uh, Miss Velma Eisenberger, and Miss Marion Hansen. And um, so we just kind of went around our Zoom room and did some introductions. We have a couple of our new uh, Kiowa language teacher candidates joining us tonight. So we wanted to make sure we did some introductions with our elder mentors, um, as well as our current um, Kiowa language teachers that um, are working towards um, level two certification. Um, so with that, I don't know if you're able to, but Carla, would you like to say hi and introduce yourself to the group so our mentors can get to know you? Oh, uh, hey, uh, oh, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm not, not feeling too good uh, this, this afternoon, but um, anyhow, Betag, yeah. Uh, on day on day, just want to greet y'all on in this uh, evening. Just want to let y'all know that uh, my name is Carlo Chalapal. Uh, my Kawa name is Anaita Straight Arrow. That was given to me by my grandpa Leonard Kozat. Um, my grandma Lucille, that was her dad's name that come from her family on her dad's side. James, James, Salo, Salo Day. I named their uh, as I said, my Kawa name, Dan Aitai, was uh, he's a member of the uh, Koi Tsenga. So I'm very um, honored to carry out a Kawa name that's been handed down over the course of time. But anyhow, and they ain't got, and they tape they dog, uh, go, and go, and they, uh, Aitai, go, Eagle Heart. Guto thing, uh, Mazo, eight boya or by, um, Ga, um, Sarah, going king, Gukini, going king. These are just a, just to name a few of my, uh, lineage of where I come from, the late Lucius Ben Aitson and Mokin is, 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 is my, uh, lineage there so I just want to just kind of briefly narrate that but um I am uh, currently uh stepping down from our tribal gaming for the Kiowas uh, I'm uh, working the finance department there in Carnegie uh for the past 12 years I've been I've been coaching basketball and through that in the past four years uh I've been the freshman boys basketball coach at Long MacArthur uh, high school here at Long Public Schools, and up this upcoming uh, school season, I'll be taking over the Kiowa Language One. So you know, with that, I just you know want to uh, just bring you up to up to speed, up to date of um, uh, who I am and um, where I come from. So uh, just want to say um, it's it's a it's a great honor to sit in this step again. Um, was a part of the program back in uh, 2016 and 17, 18, and all the way up until the passing of, you know, my late uh, Juanita Autumn, Dogamal had passed away. And at that time, I went ahead and took a step back from the program. And then still, still, you know, uh, let's do, doing my own independent study. You know, there's a lot of materials and stuff that I, I, I have collected over the years. So I just uh, 
you know, just, just here I am now. So I just want to let y'all know that, um, I'll be putting an email out if y'all haven't got emails already, but on August the, August the 1st at 11 a.m., uh, um, I'll be having a meet and greet. I won't be having it. It's on behalf of the Long Public Schools, but it has a lot to do with our uh, Kiowa language program, uh, bringing up the, uh, inviting the um, executive branch and requesting that y'all, uh, that, that the elders and, um, teacher candidates, anybody that's all affiliated with uh, uh, the uh, Kiowa language program, want to invite y'all up here to Lawton to the uh, LRC building um, for the uh, introductory of our uh, Kiowa language uh, class that is that, that is going to be taking part this semester in the school system. As for Lawton, it'll be a national credit program so I'm very, 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 you know, uh, thankful and, and grateful that it's on that type of level. I know it, it varies from district to district in the, uh, um, how you say it, systematic of um, education in the state of Oklahoma being cl classified as a uh, world language credit. So, like I said, that's going to be August the 1st, um, 2024 at 11 a.m., um, we had to finalize and pinpoint some uh, dates. So I hope I hope to hear back from y'all soon. Like I said, I uh, want to um, just invite y'all up here. Hopefully y'all can make it. Um, it'll be the, the the strength of our sovereignty of who we are as a people. So we all know that it, it's been a struggle for us to combat what happened years ago uh, as a as a power fighting for our language and putting us into a, a system of boarding school and through that system I know it's 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 a very hard topic to speak about but nevertheless though long story short you know I'm glad that the, the, the state has recognized that situation and I, I I'm very thankful for uh Belga Daki and Daki and Da you know and uh in his name, Jesus, that he has opened up this door that I, I, I'll be able to, you know, um, be a part of this establishment. And I, I believe that it's a it's, it's it's history in the making. And, you know, it's, it's just, a, you know, a blessing that through basketball, this door of opportunity has came available. So with that, that's just a, a, a little uh, outline and just want to, you know, uh, bring bring that uh, information to y'all this evening. So i uh, be really glad to be re really blessed to work with each and every body that's a part of our language program to and far, far and near. Our elders, my prayers are with you every day. Pray that the Lord bless you, touch you, heal you, and um, that, that he continues just to provide for you every day in, 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 in your health. So. With that, that's all I have, just as of right now. So, um, Obaha, aho. Oh, aho! Appreciate that. That's exciting. Thank you so much. Glad you could join us, um, Charlie. You probably saw the new invite go out. Um, so, as you probably remember from way back when, um, we used to do two-hour sessions every week. Um, so from 6.30 to 8.30 and since 2022, we've kind of, we've just been doing one and a half hour sessions. So we're going to go ahead and start back with our two hour sessions. Um, that way everyone, like for the teacher candidates that, um, they have to track their hours. So that way they'll be able to get at least two hours a week with our mentors. Um, and so we'll be offering the Wednesday sessions, um, we'll continue. I'll still be facilitating them on Zoom. Um, so they're open to anyone who wants to learn Kiowa, um, teacher candidates, uh, current credential teachers that want to work on the next level certification. Um, so yeah, uh, just you probably saw that invite, but uh, starting tonight, uh, it'll be uh, 6.30 to 8.30 every Wednesday until December 18th. Um, I'm working on updating, um, I'm working on updating the syllabus for this fall so that we, um, for our teacher candidates, for the learn, for the new teacher candidates, 
um, they'll be able to see like the progression of topics um, uh, that we can use uh, for our sessions. Um, we also uh, want to make sure that we have time with our elder mentors during our sessions. We can also use breakout rooms in Zoom. So if you have a particular question for a specific mentor, um, or if you want to focus on a specific topic, or if you even want to practice um, a certain area of credentialing, depending on the Kiowa language uh, credentialing board members who are available. Um, sometimes uh, Dane Pula will join our sessions and then he's able to do some of the um, credentialing pieces in a breakout room. Um, so we'll have those available also throughout our Wednesday sessions. Um, so uh, that's something. And then we'll also be able to practice. I know for um, those who are already level one and working on level two, we're really interested in working on our Kiowa grammar, our nouns, pronouns, and verbs, um, kind of getting uh, more practice with using Kiowa grammar terms. And then also, we also want to make sure we have time um, at least uh, once a month during our sessions to have um, kind of a Kiowa language immersion session where it, it might sound kind of funny to do on Zoom, but we've actually been able to do it pretty successfully where basically we set aside a time, whether it's uh, 45 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour or maybe even the whole session where we only talk Kiowa <laughs> during our Zoom session. And so... It's a lot of fun. Our mentors get to, you know, they tell all kinds of jokes and stories. Of course, those of us who are learning, we may not get it or understand it all the time, but it, it sure is fun <laughs> to, to hear. Um, and then we usually have like a script of um, kind of go-to phrases that we can use, questions and things that we can ask each other. Um, so what we do is as we go through each lesson and practice the language in that lesson, then um, after every four lessons, we stop and then we have an immersion session so we can all practice all of the language that we've learned so far. Um, so that's something that we'll do again in the fall here. Um, let's see. So those are just some ideas and things, um, but I am I want these sessions to be useful to all of you. So if you have ideas, suggestions, questions, um, topics that you want to focus on, um, please share, share them, let us know. Um, you can use the Zoom chat, you can call me, email me, email me, text me, um, you know, let, let us know so that we can shape these sessions so that they support um, everyone's language learning. So um, we appreciate all of you being able to join us. Um, okay, so I wanted to kind of just touch base on some um, resources available since we had a couple um, additional people join us. Um, so I'm going to pull up the Learn Kiowa website. Um, but before I do that, um, let's see. Um, I see uh, Grandma Martha, um, I see you just joined us. Um, we have some of our new Kiowa language teacher candidates with us joining us tonight. And so what we've been doing is kind of uh, giving everyone a chance to say hello and introduce themselves. And so uh, we had all of our elder mentors uh, say hello and introduce themselves. So uh, Grandma Marty, if uh, you would like to say hello and introduce yourself to our new teacher candidates, I'll turn it over to you. Oh, <clears throat> Martha Pula, I can't. Ogu koma, a goi kong, a goi ma dog. Uh, Norman Gatkeel, um, Obaha. <laughs> oh, uh ho, welcome. I'm kind of late because I had a long day. <laughs> Went all around oh. to Carnegie and Lawton and everything, so I had a long day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Driving all over the world, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Uh, no worries. We are... Um, like I said, just kind of getting to know each other, getting to know our new uh, candidates and talking about some of our um, resources we have available. Um, so while we have all of our mentors, uh, before I pull up some resources, uh, Grandma Martha, are, do you have information about the uh, upcoming in-person Kiowa language credentialing session that's coming up? 
uh, yes, I was talking to Dane after we had that last meeting where we all got together, uh, the, the very last one we did. So I in turn called him and he said, we are having it that last, um, what is it, Monday or Tuesday? I can't remember. It's the last week in July. Um, I wrote it down in one of my notes. But um, we are going to be meeting here in Norman at the District 7 office from 10 to 2. Is it Monday? Mm -hmm. I think it's a Monday. I think it is. Oh, yeah. July 29th, right? 29th. Yeah. Next, 29th. Uh, next Monday? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a Monday. We're, we're having Monday. Yeah, we're having yeah. yeah. Monday. And the time is 4 to whatever. In the oh, oh, that's, or, oh, that's or, right. We're meeting in the evening because we're up here and it's it's a different day. We usually meet on Saturday, but this time it's a weekday. So I think that's why it's later. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. You said it's at four o'clock? Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's awesome. Do you know how long it's going to go for? I'm thinking probably about two to two and a half hours, something like that. Okay. Anyway, 637, they'll be quitting to get everybody go home keep it on. okay awesome i'm gonna put this in the chat um awesome okay cool do you, you know oh Monday? You probably email dane to see what he says since awesome. he's on tonight oh okay uh let's see i'm trying to I know Dane uses uh, both his Gmail and his OU. So I'm just going to put both in here. Okay, there we go. I put it in the chat. Um, so if anyone has specific questions. Oh, yeah. And Dane just sent a, sent a message, a text message. Um, let's see. What did he say? He said... Um, if any of our current um, teacher candidates, um, if you don't have access to your Google Drive folder with your portfolio materials, um, Dane will be available during the on the 29th during that session um, to go over how, how to access your Google Drive folder and your portfolio materials. So for those are for whoever is um, going to be attending and participating in that um, July 29th credentialing session. Um, oh, he says, I think he said it's 5 to 9, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Is that? Yeah, that's your, that's oh, a time. Yeah. I, okay. okay so, well, Monday, Monday the evening, at, from mm -hmm. the evening. Yeah, evening. Okay, let me correct it then in the chat for everyone. Uh, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, there we go. Uh, Before see. he said 4 o'clock, but did he change it to 5? Well, he did tell us 4. I mean, yeah. he may have moved it back an hour or something. I, don't know. I have to come the furthest. Oh, Okay. Is that just for the mentors to show up first? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Have a meeting it's before. night at 5 o'clock. Okay. I got that message this evening. Oh, okay. So 5 o'clock. 5 to 9 then. That's good to know. Oh, um, let's see. Does anyone have questions about the credentialing session that's happening on July 29th. Okay, and I put uh, Dane's email in the chat also if you have questions. Um, for our new teacher candidates, um, you probably don't have to worry about it right now. <laughs> that, that will be something that um, as you learn and as you kind of feel more confident and comfortable speaking Kiowa, um, the goal is that by the end of the 10 months, um, so by next May or June, um, the goal would be for you to try um, try for your credentialing session. Um, but I know that Dane always encourages um, anyone who's interested in being credentialed 
to go ahead and try to attend those in-person credentialing sessions just so you can get the experience and kind of see um, what it, what it's like. And, um, you know, a lot of times uh, for us uh, candidates and for us learners, it's a good opportunity to kind of uh, talk with each other and and share and kind of do some learning and practice with each other also. So if you're available, it's a good idea to um, go ahead and, and attend just to kind of see what it's like, but don't feel pressured like you have to attend this time <laughs> for our new candidates. Um, there might be a time, you know, later on in the fall or the winter or the spring where you might feel like you're ready to start checking it out, seeing what it's like. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Here's go, Bayma. She come by to visit on her stroller. She's in a walker now, so she's oh. down. <laughs> Grandma Dorothy, can you see her? Yeah. Oh, Jack, your hair grew. Let's go, Bayma. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jack. Grandma can't see you, but I like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were here so we could dance. <laughs> there, I put her on the big screen so you can see her. <laughs> Let's see. How would you how would you translate Honde Hape Goim Ha Yagunma? It's a little whatever you want it to be. A little rabbit, a little frog, a little it's just cutie, and he's jumping all over like you. Oh, okay. I have my thing muted. Her <laughs> name is Kobe Ma. We, oh. we imitated everybody, but she's capture lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. she's gonna be. Uh, she's gonna be down there this weekend at the oh, uh, oh, oh. Good. I'll see. You gonna be there? <laughs> Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. We got. We got. Uh, we'll be there Friday morning anyway, for a minute, and then look back and forth. So I'll make sure to look you up. Okay. Oh. Aww, just cute. What time does it start, Kathy? They're doing the flag Friday morning. Oh, and then when? Uh, I don't know. I think. Uh, the the ceremony day on Sunday is at two, and then I think the social dancing is in the evenings at seven every night, Friday, is Saturday. It, it, oh, okay, starts Friday night then. I think that's yeah. what it said. Hold on, there was a flyer that Terry Ware posted. Let me see if right. I can find it real quick. Hey, Yeah. Yeah, because I can't right now. I I just got my glasses. Oh. <laughs> It's an organization that never quit dancing. They never surpassed the singing either. And they said, we'll go to jail even if we have to stop. And they had the original resistance song. For be all the cons, or that be da in ton pamba. And they were on that hit list from Washington where they cut their rations wouldn't give them their lease money and threatened to put them in jail. They had to dance in the dark time. And their Native American church meetings, they had to put them up and break them down before daylight. And it's all of the manhood from Stecker, Oklahoma, down toward the Washita River. That's where their resistance came from. They're going to keep dancing or put us in jail. Can you imagine? That's where rice got, got its name. Eogu. -E -E. Gave them rotten rice. They thought it was maggots. And beans got the name. They didn't know how to cook them. They were shaped like a, a, a kidney, so they named them Talton. 
That's where some of our vocabulary comes from. Things we have to name ourselves. So it has many different meanings. That part is never put in there. That we've done Tobete for two bits, Guseton for Washington. Half of the vocabulary we use now was really brought to us by the Army. Then there's Old Kiowa. That's what our folks spoke. Our folks, the old guys, the bona fide elders. We never get taken on sun, uh, <laughs> cool fair or nothing, same day. Bonafide to me is over 75. Never ever. I'm a rebel and I talk like that. Really, I'm a friendly guy. <laughs> ah, cool, I'm finished. Oh, I hope. Like, today I, hope. I was thinking about kissing somebody, you know, like Lou Hunde and Hartley. I'm so hard, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're cute. He kissed her, you know. Oh. And, or insane dough, they're holding hands. Or cold dough, that means hugging somebody. <laughs> I'm making a whole list of those uh, those sayings with the explanation with it. Like ain't saying thing. Hold my hand. <laughs> and if they get printed, they'll be pretty handy. Just uh. My determined is uh, not being able to write the translation right. On the hop, eh? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> or they, they, they all hug though. when you fall and you bump your head. <laughs> oh. That's those would be so handy when they come out as uh, little cards. Oh. Takes quite a bit. I've been working hard on those. Well, let's see. Call. Oh. Trying to find that flyer. I, I thought I saw one. I thought I was going to see if I can share my screen with it. Um, I have it on my phone. I, I have one too. Hang on. I was like, I can show you my phone, but I don't know if you'll be able to read it. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if, let me see if I can email it to myself. Let me try that. Angeline Kumsa. Wetzeline was such a good friend. You knew oh. her? Her and Lois. Grandma Dorothy. Did you uh did you hear uh Miss uh, Angie's uh her introduction? She's one of our new teacher candidates this year. Uh, I just seen the name. I... Oh, uh, Angie, do you mind saying hello to Grandma Dorothy again so she can hear your family? Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Hello, my name's Angela. I'm Kimsa Wetzline. I come from Hanny Radio, 
Henrietta Saperhoodle and Bill Kumsa Sr. I named after Angela and Kumsa Wetzline. My grandparents are Mary Ramirez, Lois Tartza, and William Tartza, and my parents are Brady Bonderas and Pedro Bonderas. Um, I lived at Andarco. I graduated in 2023, and I'm going to Carbert State College in Port Oklahoma to be study OB, to study biology, to be a obstetrician gynecologist. Hello, uh, Lois was one of my best friends when we were 16, around 18. She went to school um, at Hack. Haskell. I live with her at Hawk Creek. Uh -huh. The older Lois, the grandma, mm. Angeline. Um, I live with Angeline's daughter, Lois Wetzline. Yeah. And uh, Lois was living in Anadarko on the summer out of uh, Haskell. Uh, she brought two girls from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and it's the first, very first time I seen a jingle dress. They just showed it to us. That was the summer of 1949 or 50. Thank you Beautiful. for sharing that with me. Yes. Just like yesterday. That's awesome. I think uh, Mar see. Marion would remember Angeline and uh, Lois. Although Marion, I'm older than Marion, way older. They don't have a head staff here. That's another yeah. thing. What is. Just call on, but they make it through. They're rich in history. Oh, talkun dance, and then it's a talkun means a type. Uh, they call it the squat dance. Those other tribes. And then they have another one that's mm -hmm. really unusual. It's a I don't know if these people know how to do that anymore. It's another thing that the men are hesitant to take lessons from women. That's all they got left. Dorothy, he asked her, you have a right to speak. Tonsai was picked up the last time at the Red, where Red Buffalo Hall is. And they said Red Buffalo picked it up. It's such a fast dance and it's such a maneuver. And it has to be done in four rounds without stop, without the song singing, and you don't miss a beat. The last two people that done it was Hugh Doiby and my dad. White Buffalo is the one that taught up. They never mentioned that white buffalo and all of them. That was at Washington. Oh, that's awesome. Cody Bohun was a member from Rainy Mountain. Some of them, but it was Red Buffalo that picked it up. Yeah. Oh. I've got the whole history I would share with the tribe, but don't know where to put it. Well, 
Well, we'd love to hear it sometime, Grandma. Huh? I said we'd love to hear it sometime. Um, we're gonna start up our our um our community sessions. You know yeah. how we had those on Sunday afternoons. Uh, yeah. we're gonna start Hillary. those up again. Uh, Hillary and, is my, I have and a hugs. copy a melody. I have a copy. Y'all are welcome to it. It's written by Tony Isaacs. Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh. Got the whole membership on there. That's very helpful. Uh, let's see. Uh, so let's see. I think um, we wanted to go over the resources. Oh, go ahead, Miss Velma. Um, are, did you say when the the uh, the the sessions, the community ones, uh, when they're going to start? Um, in August, and I would love to hear um from our mentors, um, what time? Because I think we were doing them from three to five p.m. in the afternoon on Sundays, and. I also wanted to see if every Sunday, if you wanted to be every Sunday or every other Sunday, um, and just to get a sense of what times um, are preferred, uh, because I think what we wanted to do was um, start listening to the Kiowa Culture Program tapes again and um, have some time to, to hear some interpretations, and then also set aside some time during those sessions to uh, like translate some of our songs and to kind of hear some more um, information about our songs and dances. So kind of more cultural focus and stories. Um, but I wanted to check with uh, all of our mentors to see if, uh, if Sunday afternoons still worked and if you wanted to meet weekly, like every Sunday or every other Sunday, which would be best. Uh, just, just for, just for me. I don't know about the others, but like every other Sunday. But I'll go along with whatever. I was gonna say every other Sunday because we meet that way. Toward the end, we would skip Sundays, so we didn't consistently meet every Sunday. So maybe every oh. other Sunday would work for the for you, Melody. Oh. And so I'm going to look for, I'll try not to conflict with them, um, like, because I know we have our, our Hong Kong got, coming up in October. So I'll try to pick a, a pattern so that we're not conflicting with some of our um, ceremonials and things that happen on the weekend. So, but those will start in August. So I'll send an email out and those sessions, um, they are recorded um, and those are, um, they're two hours. and it's just an open open forum for uh, topics, uh, but we really like listening to those old recordings um, and, you know, really digging into deciphering them and hearing our, our mentors' uh, translations and interpretations. Um, so uh, I will, let's see, I need to look and see, but it will start either the 4th or the 11th of August, and I'll send out an invite here this week. Um, and get that on everyone's calendars. And everyone's invited to those. Um, so everyone who's on this call and who's on our list will get an invite as well. And, you know, they're not mandatory, but if you are a candidate, uh, that's another way to get some hours of Kiowa language learning. And it's also another time that we have our mentors are available with us as well. Okay, so I'll be on the lookout for those invites. Um, so let's see, I wanted to um, share my screen again really quick to go over the um, resources. So let me go here. Oh, and uh, Miss Velma on that flyer for Ohama, I don't know if you saw, uh, it looks like the social, I know the flag raising is really early in the morning and the social dancing is Monday, is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at seven. And then on Sunday is the ceremony. Uh, at two is the teepee ceremony and then the dance ceremony dancing starts at three. 
and Stecker. So, or Ohama. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I hope. Oh, <laughs> glad I found that flyer. Hopefully that helped. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, we have a website. I put it into the chat. Um, Carlo, I'm not sure if you're able to um, see the chat. Hopefully you are. Um, but I put the website links into the chat earlier. So let me know if you don't see them. I can put them in the chat again. Um, oh, yeah. Can can you re-upload uh, the, uh, the link? Oh, I sure will. Let me do that real fast. So the first link, the one that I'm looking at right now is uh, learnkiowa.org. So you can Google Learn Kiowa or just go to learnkiowa.org. It'll take you to this homepage. And then um, another link that's really helpful is our adult learning um, tab, which has a link to all of the sessions and all the materials that we that we need uh, essentially for level one and level two credentialing for Kiowa language teacher candidates and Kiowa language learners. So that's that second link I put in the chat. Um, so we'll start with the homepage. So here's the homepage. Uh, there's also a YouTube channel. Um, so uh, it's on YouTube also. There's also a Facebook page, but um, all the YouTube videos, if you go and subscribe to uh, at Learn Kiowa, um, you, you'll get the notifications whenever I upload our videos. So if you miss a session, um, and then like I said, we're going to start up our Sunday sessions again in um, every other Sunday in August, and then continuing on throughout the, the year. Um, those will also be posted on the YouTube channel. And so a lot of times people who can't make the session um, due to other commitments, they'll watch the session and then bring questions they have to the next session. Um, or you can always email us um, or message us. So if you scroll down, you'll see uh, this getting started section. And there's a link to the Kiowa English Student Glossary, which is super, super helpful. That's this, um, it's over here. It pops up as a PDF file. It's 900 pages long. So I wouldn't, it, it it's updated every year. So uh, Dane Hula, he updates and compiles it. Um, it is, it's definitely a really, really useful resource. Um, and he tries to update it at least once a year. And so I actually, he sent me the 2024 version. So I need to upload the 2024 version on the website. So I'll do that this week. And so when you go there, um, you'll see the a new version. And it's, I think that one's like over a thousand pages. So he adds a little bit every year um, to the glossary. But the way to use the glossary, um, and I mentioned this earlier um, also is if you download it on your computer, you can use this search function and just type in any word. Like for instance, I wanted to look up the word respect. And so you just hit enter and you can flip through um, the responses and it'll pull up whether or not um, there's a Kiowa equivalent to the English word that you type in there. And it's in uh, the orthographies. Let me make it a little bigger. Um, it's in the modified Parker McKenzie orthography. And then there's also a phonetic uh, version um, as well. And so um, that's uh, how to use the glossary. Um, one thing also that many of you already know about our language is Kiowa is um, we're an action language. There are more verbs in Kiowa than there are um, in English. And uh, there's more verbs than nouns. And then a contrast with English in the English language, there's more nouns than there are verbs. So if that tells you something about like just how different the languages are. Um, so I like to challenge uh, myself and challenge my kids and anyone who's learning Kiowa to uh, try to turn on your Kiowa brain um, and think in Kiowa. And that's something that our mentors have stressed with us over the years is to be able to speak Kiowa, we really have to be able to think in Kiowa. And so that's something that we um, want to try to focus on. So um, the glossary is very, super helpful. Um, you'll see that each entry has like a part of speech by it, whether it's a noun and a verb. And so um, the nouns and verbs, I'll show you how that like how to use that here in a second. 
Um, but it is uh, a very useful resource. I wouldn't recommend printing it out just because it does change every year and it's a lot. It's really long. Um, I think one one year I tried to print out one of the earlier versions and I got to like page 300 out of 600 pages and then I just stopped. I was like, yeah, it's easier to do it on the computer. But it's, it's a lot of fun to just kind of read through. I'll get lost in the glossary sometimes. Um, so that's this first link here under getting started. The second link is this University of Oklahoma Kiowa Language course packet, which is um, also a useful resource if you um, want to um, access, if you're someone that likes having worksheets to fill out in practice. Um, this is an old course packet. You might remember this from a long time ago, um, but it is still useful, um, even though some of the language has been updated. Um, my favorite part of the course packet is these pronoun charts. There are three pages, and I'd highly recommend printing the pronoun charts off because that's going to help us uh, to actually be able to speak. In Kiowa is, is having our pronouns because uh, in Kiowa, we cannot use a verb without having a pronoun with it. So we have to know what type of verb um, goes with what type of uh, pronoun goes with the type of verb. And so that's something that we'll get to practice throughout our time together. Um, so that's something that's uh, very helpful as well. Um, so print off the pronoun charts. It's pages three to five of the uh, course packet. And then of course, there's lots of other pages of the course packet. So if you wanted to download it and print this off. I actually printed this off when I was first learning Kiowa. Um, it's grown uh, since then, but um, you know you can print off a few lessons at a time and work on worksheets if that's something that you want to do. Um, okay, so those are the getting started resources. Let's go over to the adult learning tab. So you click on lessons and adult learning. So eventually this lessons page, when you click on it, that you'll see a lot more tabs. There's actually going to be several age groups. So there'll be um, infants and toddlers, there'll be preschoolers, there'll be elementary age students, middle school and high schoolers. But right now we started with the adult learning because we have uh, so many uh, Kiowa language learners who want to be teachers of Kiowa. And so this is to help us get credentialed. So that's why we started with this adult learning tab. Mm -hmm. So when you click on it, oh yes, go ahead. Another question. Um, so if you are curious of where to get started, um, so one place is this uh, download um, file. It's Kiowa Language Teaching and Learning Goals and Objectives. You can download it and print it off, but there is, it's for adult learners, so 18 years old and up. And if you want to know how to get started and where to even start, because I know it does feel overwhelming sometimes. Um, so this is a suggested learning progression list that was developed by um, our Kiowa language mentors. And so it's suggested to start with the sounds of Kiowa and practicing those, then to learn the Kiowa help phrases, then learn greetings, farewells, and so on down the list. And all of those topics correspond to the lessons that we'll see here on the left side of the screen. Um, there's also some resources around how to assess your learning um, and I can statements as well for to just kind of get a sense of how you're doing uh, with your language learning. Um, if you want to read more about learning Kiowa, so there's these three tabs, learning Kiowa as an adult, about indigenous second language acquisition, which is what we're all doing, um, especially us learners, um, and then Kiowa as a second language. So if you click on each tab, you'll get to read and see these different resources and links um, if we scroll down here in this first tab, um, you'll see a copy um, information about becoming credentialed. Um, and so there's links to the Kiowa Tribe website, to the email address for the Kiowa Tribe Language Department, the teacher handbook um, for uh, Kiowa Language Teacher Candidates, and then also the Kiowa Language Teacher Candidate uh, Proficiency Portfolio and Professional Development Checklist is available. So. This is the checklist that teacher candidates um, who are first going through level one um, need to complete and submit with the um, with the Kiowa language department. 
um, to be able to become credentialed and to do the, um, to apply to be credentialed and go through the whole credentialing process. So it's set up kind of as a progression. Um, you kind of walk through the checklist, uh, you develop uh, lesson plans, one per month uh, for a total of 10 lesson plans. That's part of that portfolio. And they have a portfolio folder on the Google Drive for each of us. Um, there's a pre and post assessment that we take that's online. And then there's uh, professional development modules. And so there's a code of conduct here. And so you would click on the YouTube link here, um, which will take you to uh, the video recording of that particular module. Okay, so we're gonna and then if you once you watch the video, then you click on this other link below in the checklist. And that takes you to a little um, form for you to uh, use to verify whether or not you've completed that particular module and then you would submit it. So um, you would go down the checklist. There are uh, nine modules on there. And then you write a, a statement of Kiowa philosophy, uh, teaching and learning. And you click on that link to submit your statement. And then there's also supplemental materials. And then you would sign it and then submit it to the Kiowa language department. And then it goes to our credentialing board and they um, you know, verify whether or not you're ready to do the um, credentialing, the oral uh, portfolio portion, uh, which includes pronunciation, kinship, grammar, and an interview. Um, so that's the checklist. The handbook is also available here. Um, and I believe it's been updated. So as soon as I get the updated version, um, I'll be updating the links. But it's all all there for you to follow along and get um, support and resources on. So that's the first tab. The second tab is more about um, second language acquisition and then Kiowa as a second language. Now for the lessons. So the first thing, uh, learning the sounds of Kiowa, the sounds of Kiowa is actually one of the professional development modules in the checklist. So there's videos and things there. Um, but the best place to start is with the help phrases. And so you can go to um, the Kiowa help phrases lesson here. And this is the lesson page. There's some videos you can watch. There's sessions where we all practice um, saying the Kiowa help phrases. You can download the PDF version of these resources and also the PowerPoint version of the resources. The PowerPoint has the little audio files where you can actually hear a Kiowa language speaker um, saying the phrases so you can practice and you can record yourself saying them. Um, so you can download those there and uh, there's a handout. Um, so just a tip for anyone who is gonna be teaching a Kiowa language class. What I do is for my um, high school classes, I use these resources to support um, their, the students, the high school students' uh, Kiowa language uh, proficiency development. Um, so for instance, with lesson one, which is on greetings, um, you have the lesson plan packet here that you can download and um, have available. And then um, you have videos on pronunciation of the terms within that packet. And there's also a link to the study stack um, that corresponds to that particular topic. And so here's the study stack that has the late, the target language that's in that lesson uh, where you can practice um, how to respond to those phrases. Um, and then the lesson plan. So if you were to click on this, um, this is on greetings. And so the first page is always going to be the target Kiowa language um, for that particular topic. So these are the target phrases that the learner will need to learn how to pronounce and how to use. And you would learn how to say it, how to um, use it, and then how to respond. And then the second page is vocabulary and grammar of each of the phrases and target phrases. Um, and then we have translations. And so here we have the Kiowa language on the left column. In the middle column is the literal translation, which will teach us um, how to think in Kiowa because it tells you what the word order is in English. And then there's a free translation in English, which is kind of like 
the rough English equivalent, more or less. Um, then there's conversational practice here on um, the page. And this is the opportunity, this is what we'll be using a lot, uh, where we'll see the English and we'll have learned how to say it in Kiowa. And so we can take pair up with each other and practice um, saying and responding the phrases. Um, and then there's always note cards for anyone who is a, um, a hands-on learner and who likes cutting things out and pasting them in like a notebook or something. Um, I actually use this as an activity for my high school students because they all have a, a little uh, Kiowa language journal that they keep for the each uh, semester. And so they have these note cards as a target language um, for them to practice and they put in their Kiowa language journal. Um, and I provide these lessons to them as a handout for each of the uh, units that we have with our um, in my curriculum for at Weatherford High School um, for Kiowa Language 1 and 2. And so anyway, it just goes down um, the list. There's all these other lessons. So that's kind of an overview of the website and how to use it. So hopefully that is helpful. Any questions from anyone? I think we are um, at time, and so we'll go ahead and wrap up. But does anyone have any questions? All right, awesome. Um, well, to close us out for the evening, I'm wondering if um, Gima, Grandma D, would you be able to um, close us up with a prayer? ตอปามันตอเลยเตาอดเลยเกลอไทมจองกอกะกอมบอยจอกอตองเกอไอเตาอีโดดอกเกมอไฮมอดอกตอติกิอากอตอทอมดอกเกอไอคอนดอกเก
Haga. How do you call it? <laughs> ha, haga. No good. Dorothy, Dorothy, you say haga. No good. Haga. No good. <laughs> Hit my Hit own. the iron. Hit the iron. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. It's so poor, though, my, the one I have. I punch. I'm so old. I punch. I cut myself off. How you like? Oh, you told me, but I'm still working. Oh. oh. <laughs> different places and darn Riverside there's students oh gosh everything's okay it's me it's my body's giving out I, oh I got to ya it's not my brain it's my body I can't <laughs> dance tomorrow <laughs> Sunday I can have to I guess they'll just have to hear me sit and sing. Oh. Yeah. Come over, Melody, if you get a chance. Maybe we'll get a chair by the drum. Oh, yeah. Me and the girls will be there because Vision's going to be dancing. So we'll be there. Yeah. Everybody else. The food's always good. I ate there last year in the evening. Oklahoma and Stecker, Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, and afternoons, been, the days have been beautiful, though. Not hot. I hope it stays like that for the weekend. Yeah. Right. Marty, all of you, Alabama. Like I said, they're raising uh, Dad Frank Tonkame's uh, flag Friday morning, so I'll be there at 7 a.m. Okay, honey, bring your tape player. Oh, or your recorder. I'm old time in it. Tape player. I know it, right? I got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> your but that's probably more better than the phone yeah. anyway. I promise you they won't say nothing. I planted this. That's where I get a lot of my recordings. Good one. Well, we'll come sit by you, Grandma. Me and Marlena. Yeah. And uh, that John Hamilton, he's a corker. I'll tell you, he knows every Kiowa family song. He's just a, oh. he's my friend. He's just a good young man. I'm Dahi. Well, they all are. But Dahi is when you can catch, pick up a song after one round. Kind of got an H in the back, so it'd probably be H double E H. Adore he. Adore he. Yeah. You see, let me sing this to you, and he'll know it when you come around. Carlo sings good the drum. All of you do. And I picked up. Uh, I know Marty would be interested, but all of you that get the uh, melody, all of you that get Cowboys and Indians, a magazine. Uh -huh. I, I actually got it for $8 today, and it's got a whole, whole, whole section on Indians. Oh, nice. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I was so, I was so, uh, tickled. Got it at Walmart. It was my Walmart grocery day. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, Kathy's got something. Oh, I need an autograph. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring it so you can autograph it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First thing get, you get your autograph ready, Grandma. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just like that little girl can sing. Sally, get out of the ball. It's perfect. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I said uh, first thing he did when he got us together in the meeting, Melody's uh, vision was there, and we sat down and thought he was going to ask something real historical. We sat down, and he came in the room. He says, 
What do y'all think of Comanches? <laughs> Vega. <laughs> I don't know what he wanted us to say. And that's funny. Nice, ordinary guy. He could just be sitting by him and talk with your <laughs> uh, tell Indian jokes. <laughs> he did. He doesn't even notice. It's nice. Man. <laughs> He's just one of the guys, don't he? Of course, I don't. Uh, I'm no judge of people. As as a man, no? I have fun my own self. God, dog, they got some pretty stuff in here. Oh, nice. Hey, uh, Grandma and whoever else is still on here, since I know this is uh, of interest and you probably already have heard, but I just saw on Facebook they posted something about Paladuro Canyon. Oh, they're um, going. They're going to have yeah, let me show you. Uh, so here's the Kiowa Tribe Facebook page. I seen it. Uh, I oh, was good. Okay. I've been uh, doing that for twenty years. The this uh, they're having a memorial gourd dance. I guess it looks like we didn't gourd dance over there. It was poor buffalo fighting for their lives. I don't know, but I want to go to camp there. Yeah, I was like, oh, good. We can go set up our camp and oh, yeah, whatever right. they're doing. September 28th, you know, I'm I guess. Taking, and if you ask at the gate, we were the ones that got uh, no, uh, no, uh, uh, paying for to get down there. Oh, my Clemente, my Clemente class mentioned that and you'll get down free. Awesome. That's it's your a kind of work, yeah. I've been going every year, and they didn't even send me an invitation. That I was just gonna call them and say, well, "What's wrong?" <laughs> so where you at? Every... You know, Velma, we've been there. Ha, ha. Hey, gun, yeah, hog. When you when you think of something, it kind of it's been wanting to them to remember Miss Maggie Smokey all coy day. Hmm. That's when they told her, her grandpa told her we were waiting. Poor Buffalo was down there with Mamante. And they were waiting for word uh, when, when the scouts were coming down. And her grandpa told, told him, Put on your best clothes, because we're going to die today. And that was the wrinkle hand chase. We had to walk back to Fort Seal from Paladuro. You all, all of you teachers know that. Then we were so wrinkled from the rain and sleeping in it and being cold and hungry. It was Kiowas. And we came and they, that's what There's they, no mention. Yeah. yeah. That's true. And it, I don't know how this Comanche got in there because it, the guy was never mentioned the Comanche being there. I think the Cheyenne's ahead, bad too was Sorry. somewhere else. And the Comanches, they had an encounter, but it, it was up uh, Tule Canyon. And it wasn't at Peladuro. The Kiowas are the ones that lost all the horses. And you oh. could hear, you could hear poor Buffalo, in the, he was already singing the, Oi Tango, that song. He was already sick. And that that building down there is named a good name. And and a story changed, and it's uh, what's his name? Um, his name, uh, I just gave him an interview <laughs> on Daddy again on those Red Ripper Wars. And I've got the written, I've got the original written deal by Susie Peters, which she took the report from um, Maggie Smokey, one of our most, uh, that was Lois Smokey, the Kiowa 
five's mother. She was the woman that's her mother. It's, she doesn't even get mentioned in that. And it was my dream because about in 1939, they took a chartered bus, but that was for Adobe Walls. I was on that bus with a bunch of cattles. They took that and we stayed there 10 days at Amarillo. And they commemorated all of those. It's the Caddo Princess got one of those big uh, stickers in her moccasin and it, it required, they had Comanches then, but it wasn't for Paladuro. Michael Jordan. I think it's Michael Jordan and Amber. Uh, what's her name? Amanda. I think it's their name. But they didn't tell me. I've seen it on Facebook this evening. Yeah, I just saw it. That's why I wanted to, to show it, just in case anyone saw it. I thought it's interesting. Our chairman in uh, Korea, is that what I'm saying? Or Tokyo? Yes. Or he's oh. <laughs> he went on his own dime. I tell my war mothers that. If you're going to ask something about a chairman, don't do it in my presence. <laughs> right. No, I was just wondering because that was kind of cool if he made it over there. Yeah, yeah they did. And nice. In fact, my daughter saw cat feeders this week. She's got two cats. Oh. <laughs> now that's pretty exciting. Oh, it checks. And uh, He's all right. They went, it has something to, for indigenous, yeah, what you call it? I oh, know. that um, IYF, in the International Youth uh, Federation, that, oh, um, yeah. that summer camp, remember, Grandma, that we went and taught at years ago at Anadarko Public Schools? Yeah. When they Koreans came and we did a, right. like a cross-cultural summer camp and we taught Kiowa and then they taught Korean I think that's who that is. Those are the um, the founders, in fact, right? In fact, last month, a month or two ago, there was a delegation of Koreans here, and I told them stories up here at sunset. Uh, oh, that's awesome. That's probably the same, that same program. Yeah, same group, yeah. It was through David uh, Sullivan. And then it, oh. you remember Dolores, and I took pictures with you at East Gray. Oh, Seven. that's right. Grandma D, you remember that? No. A long time ago. <laughs> I got a good picture of Dolores too at your graduation with Dolores. Oh. <laughs> uh, but that's that's what our chairman is that I think that's who he's visiting in Korea is those people. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's oh, like, wow. I stand here so I want to ask y'all if y'all can pick up a Kiowa word in this song. Uh, I, I'm in fact I'm wondering about the first verse. Could y'all help me? Say I go ya, say I do ya, da by say dal ya, say dal ya. So ho they both. Pope, 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 so yo, so ho, they pope, pope, so ho, they pope, pope. It's Grandpa Snake, Stony Road, when the Zaidi Talis killed her husband, the snake. And that's her M O U R morning song, not in the morning. She said, Yeah, he's, I'm dope, guy. Yeah. It's all the word I can get out of all of that, and you know. And then so Hode, our elders gave him gave him that name, or they, I mean, they knew that name. We don't know it, but, but in the Kiowa voices, it says Stony Road. I've been puzzling with that. Nobody to ask, no one to talk to, and I just sit here and sing it over and over and over. Like Pope, Pope, I think that's the 
spots on his stomach. And your thaba are your tears. And he said, oh, yeah, they're just running out of my face down my, you know. Thaba and he said, oh, yeah. So holy boop, 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 say, oh, so holy boop, boop. What you think, Marion? It was a spot that snake the whole day. Oh, oh, so old day. So old day long. Well, the boys killed snake, of course. Something and to think I about. I, I say that I work it. Yeah, I'll get back with uh, you on that because I've got some words. Yeah, you can get some words, but. Uh huh. And your mom also, I asked her about that. Yeah. So, and I'm the son. Okay. Yeah, boom, they hold the gazelle bay. It's getting dawn time and it's getting kind of scared. That's another song I picked up of Marion. Marion. Of mama. Okay, then, what was that again? So, <laughs> it's a it's a frost song. Eat a dog, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's so much that haven't been oh. explored. And I didn't know they were doing the songs up here at the language office up by the old... Uh, Warrior Mark. I didn't know they were singing church songs on certain nights. I'd love to yes. take part in that. Yes, you should. You should because of the words. I don't think that's. I don't think they have the the words or even the words. They'll sing the song, but they don't know the meaning. Even Dolores would be good at that too. That's interesting. I think that's all very um those are good for that situation. But those words are, are ones I you bear you don't hear them anymore. Or you'd say Hondam dope guy. God that looks sharp. Or he looks, you know, regal or something. I'm dope guy. Like you would pronounce it D O K E, I guess. I'm dope guy. And that's a Kiowa word, but. And I guess what you would use to uh, describe. A group of soldiers or something is uh, a bon tag. You could use that for a woman too, but that's the only thing I think would be suitable if we were ever going to fix a directory. You can't call men beautiful, so you wouldn't say handmaid. And women, it's uh, hape, hite, and hainme. Cute, pretty, and beautiful. And hape is usually like for a baby. Yeah. I mean, I do little bit, little kids. Hape. 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 Is that good? And some the people other say hot day. Hot day. He day is pretty. He day. And hand me is beautiful. See, there's three ways to describe someone looking nice. Bontagia. Mdokia. And that's more suitable for men, the last two. 
And I sit here and argue with myself. <laughs> Just put it down. There's so many oh. words. So would a woman say that? Bone tag, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Honk at the good old dog, a bone tag, yeah. In a parade or something. Off tribe men look nice when they parade, and it doesn't sound out of, you know, out of your complimenting. It's ladylike, I think. It's, I'm trying to. I'm trying right, to. It's not, not sexual or anything. It's. I don't think you guys are even talking like that. Anymore. Right. What's going on? What's going on? Gaito Gudo. A board of Gahonde Bontaga with their new KCA organization in their grand entry. And you were saying those young men look nice. And then it goes into something else, and pretty soon you're way off the subject. That's what I do. And then I, I get myself mixed up. Here's the uh, the spelling and the glossary for dope guy or dope guy. Dope guy. Dokya. I guess it's just like it's spelled. See, I didn't know how to spell it. Dokya. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And they were and, in there. Uh, they owned it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, and then you mentioned those other words for hain may. Yeah. Beautiful right here. Hain may. Eye catching. So that's for a woman, right? You said this one, yeah. these two. And then the dope guy is for a man. Yeah. I think I might have just vocally had something to do with that explanation. I mean, the not explanation, the translation. But I didn't oh. know how to spelling them. It's my, it keeps me back. Everybody, well, that's a way. There's one lady that can follow me just right as I'm talking. You know. Yeah, it is. does good. <laughs> and there's music that's written to be played on an instrument. And I could sing it and she was writing the, the stuff. Oh, that's awesome. But Honya Soniki, I go, I had to write the Kiowa language. So I just go as it sounds. Well, luckily for our mentors, you don't have to worry about writing it. That's our job now is we have to figure out how to write what you're telling us. <laughs> yes, because you found this and I'm glad it's on the, you know, because it's an actual, it's an actual word. Some people just write it off. They'll say, oh, I never heard that before. It's in there. It's in the glossary. So we got proof. What what did they say? Uh, proof, yeah, dog. <laughs> and those uh, Kiowa culture tapes. <laughs> I call myself Sapulma so many times I can't keep track. <laughs> I got it. Hey, uh, Grandma, um, I have to go. I have to go fix dinner before it gets too much later. No, I got to go eat. I got a, a dollar chicken. What do you call that at Walmart? Oh, I'm get, hey. I'm get bait, though, but I'm going to go eat it. <laughs> oh, go eat then. All right. Well, hey, hey, hopefully see you okay. Sunday on uh, at Omaha. Stecker. I'll see you on Sunday. Oh, take care. Bye bye. Go, they bado. Thank you. Hey, girl. Hey, girl, and oi, bonta. Honda, Hey, girl, and oi, bonta. Maybe. M. Toho. Marion, I like your hair like that. 
Oh, hold on, hold on.